Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer and today I'm going to talk to you about my favourite slide guitar player of all time, the great Rai Kuda. Now, Rai has made a lot of records, he's delved into a lot of different styles of music over time. Great place to start with Rai Kuda is that he's well known for his use of open tunings. Now the thing is, he mostly used open D. As I've said in other videos, open D tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D, which is an open D chord. So you're tuning the bottom E down to a D, the A string stays the same, the D string stays the same, the G string, tune that down uh, half a tone to F sharp, the B string down to an A, and the E string down to a D. And that's how you get that wonderful open D chord. Now a great place to start is playing melodically. Rai is about the most melodic slide guitar player around. Him and David Lindley, well known for their sense of melody, particularly when they played beautiful old uh, folk songs, country tunes, all sorts of tunes. They had a great sense of melody. Now all the melody comes from a major scale. Now how do you play a major scale in this tuning, I hear you ask? Well, it's really very simple because a lot of that soloing happens on this high E string and this is a great place to get started. Now we're just going to start with playing a major scale on the high E string. Uh, if you're not quite sure what a major scale is or what the notes are in a major scale, it goes tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And I'll display that so it makes a little bit more sense. So we're starting on the open E string, which is now a D. So it's open, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, eleventh fret, and twelfth fret. I'll play that as a whole scale. Now that's just a major scale, that's just Do, Re, Mi. Now you'd be amazed at exactly how much you can get out of that. Now if I just start with an open D. Now instantly that's got that right coup to sound, it's a very recognisable sound. And it's that easy. So all I'm doing is just playing the middle D string there to give it some bass. And just by using three notes, you're already in that Raikuda zone, in that territory. which is a beautiful sound just on its own. Now if you're a Raikuda fan at all, you would have heard that on a hell of a lot of his records. Uh, that's very much his trademark sound. Now all I'm doing there is just playing notes out of the major scale. And just throwing in the odd D, either on the bottom string or on the middle D there. And there's that sound.
Now this is just an introductory lesson, so I'll just keep it really simple and play that major scale one more time. And I'll play it descending. Now in future lessons, I'll get more in depth, take you further into the land of Rye, but that is a great place to start.